Father Roy's chalk. Trying to take it from him would be like trying to make a Mogwai observe Ramadan. I have to create some kind of diversion. I don't think I can do this. The most important ball is missing. How you doing? You know, busy. I never thought I'd say this, but the minute I saw you today, I thought, I'm gonna talk to Elaine for a while. You know, I love talking to you, but you caught me at a bad moment. Oh, come on, Elaine. What happened to that annoying waitress I used to know? The one who always wanted to talk to me? I don't know. You don't know? What kind of answer is that? What do you want me to say? Um, have I done anything wrong? Really, Randall? You say horrible things to me all the time for no reason. But I'm just kidding. And I haven't insulted you at all today, have I? In fact, you look better than ever. Thank you, Randall. But I really don't feel like talking to you today. Okay, fine. Gee whiz, anybody could have a bad day. Well, see ya. Elaine, the cue ball is missing. Huh, I guess some idiot must have taken it. Hey, maybe the thief needed it for something. Yeah, right. And I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. Hey, that accusation offends me. Okay, here. But please be careful with it, that's the last one. I'm always careful. Okay then, carry on, Elaine. Did you see that, Father? That's how you sink everything in one. He's not looking now. Hey, great job, Bob. Thanks, but how do you know my name? Uh, it's right there on your uniform. Oh, right. <laughs> You're a very observant kid. Uh, yeah. Someone like you could go all the way in this business, you know? The painting fire hydrants business? No thanks. Well, I do more than just painting. A cake farm. Wow, that's just fascinating. <laughs> I know. By the way, can I borrow your can of paint? It'll just be for a minute. No way. I need it. I haven't even seen you paint a single stroke since I've been here. Come on, it's for a good cause. Really? What? Well, uh, I'd like to recreate a scene from Brain Dead. I'm sorry, the paint stays where it is. Ah, thanks for nothing. You're welcome. Now he has a cute blue hat. Now he's wearing a fancy red suit. Nice. Now it'll stop dripping. What the hell? Fucking koala bear just stole my figure. Why me, Lord? Why me? Now there's some eucalyptus flavor bait on the rod. Let's hope he takes the bait. It should work, but it's just that... Ah, god damn it, I can't do it. 
Nobody with even a shred of human feeling would do something like that. I know that little bastard robbed me, but he looks just like a walking teddy bear. There's gotta be another way to catch a stupid koala. A koala? Where? What in the name of? Orders from Town Hall. We need to exterminate all those cuddly vermin. They're spreading like rats. Fine, but just for the record, I'm totally against what you just did. No cute animals should ever be hit with hammers. Not in this dimension, not in any dimension. You got no escape now, you damn marsupial. Give me back my figure. I better take the murder weapon. It's a very useful tool. Here's your rarity, an official Captain Red action figure hand-painted by disabled people. I don't think there's anything rarer than this. What kind of disability are we talking about? Um, stressed out, beaten, mutilated Nern syndrome. Oh, I thought that had already been eradicated from schools. There's too much unnecessary suffering in this world. Uh, yes. I believe you have something for me, right? Unbelievable! Finally! Everything's gonna go smoothly from here on out. Ladies and gentlemen, Sci-Fi Con is about to close its doors. Please exit the building through the back door. Thank you for coming, and have a nice evening. What a beautiful night, don't you think? Unfortunately, I don't have time to stand around here talking about the weather. Me too. What a coincidence. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go home. Yeah, I'm not. That's what I said. Why? Did something happen to my apartment? It says that I don't think you're gonna make it home. Good idea. I think he's waking up. Boy, does he look grouchy. What the? Ow! No! Ah! Hey! Not in there! Ouch! Ooh! Ah! He's biting! No! No biting! Ow! Come on! You were supposed to help me! Ah! God damn marsupial! You were supposed to help me, not bite me! Yeah, run away, you coward! Oh, wait a second! I think he robbed me! Oh, the ring is gone! Oh, no! Oh, it's right there. What were you about to do? I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> you gotta rehydrate in the morning, you know. Oh, God, I think I'm gonna be sick. What time is it? It's early. The city sleeps yet. Oh, what's wrong, buddy? You don't seem very happy. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Last thing I need is another of your dull speeches. And to top it off, that stupid koala stole a bunch of stuff from me. So great, just great. I told you you were cursed, but you didn't listen. You don't understand the power of the ring. You just simply lack the intelligence to do so. Fucking like the bad guy from a 007 movie is not gonna make me take you any more seriously. The end is nigh, and then my words will echo in your head. What words? Your cheap TV second-hand philosophy? It is said that those who ignore the past are doomed to repeat it. But what dangers await those who cannot forget the past? 
suppose, obsessed with reliving it? Yeah, right on cue. There it is. It looks like you're becoming more aware of the situation you're in. You remind me more of myself every day. <laughs> you even slept in an alley, for God's sake. Well, the moment I get that stupid ring back, everything will go back to normal. I'm a hundred percent positive. Do you still think you can get it back just because you want to? <laughs> Kid, I told you, that ring does what it wants when it wants to. And believe me, it chooses who it wants to be with. Okay, but now I know who has it. I just have to go find that thief. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs>